So this is Button's poop tray. Um, I actually bought it from the RSPCA. They have a store there, stuff they sell. And this is actually a dog or a cat's bed. But I found it was the ideal size for Buttons because she likes, you know, she's a big bunny. She's not a dwarf bunny. She's a not a giant, but she's, you know, a big bun. She's a big Rex bunny. Um, and I also found that she just likes to poop in one corner and then she'll switch sides. <laughs> so, you know, she like, I found she just enjoys having a bit of space. I've tried something smaller, but, um, yeah, I've just noticed her habits. She is, she's, I think she's ready for this. She knows instantly when I'm cleaning it out for her. Um, so we've got a puppy training pad. I'm lucky she doesn't try and eat it. Um, yeah, it helps to clean it up. Taped it down, and then I use two different hays. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try and carry this one handed while filming, and we'll see how long it takes for her to. I oh, know I'm gonna have to put the phone down. Excuse me, excuse me, while check out my desk. In the meantime. Bubba? Let's see how long it takes her. Uh, clean bubble tray. Clean. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky. I've had two rabbits. Lavender was my first. Buttons is my second. And Lavender isn't with us anymore, unfortunately. Um, and then I got buttons afterwards, so she's my second fair baby. Ninja you, Papa? Um, and I've been very lucky with them both. They've kind of... They've later trained themselves. I know when I had Lavender... <laughs> I don't know what it says about her personality. She's called the Sass Queen for a reason, I think, because her... The spot she initially chose to... They, like, choose one spot and they usually keep going there. Um, she chose the near the front door. <laughs> she chose near the front entrance. You know, it's not ideal. Um, so I had, I did have to sort of like train her to move to a different spot, but that is pretty easy once you introduce these things. Um, you can kind of move them around, and they'll look for the, they'll look for the tray and the sense and whatnot. So they kind of know they're smart cookies. I'm really surprised she's not straight in there. Maybe she just knows she's being filmed. Yeah, Papa too. Um, but yeah, also when I had lavender, um, it was kind of a new experience for me because I hadn't had rabbits before. I lived in Brisbane previously, which rabbits are illegal there. You just don't have a pet rabbit there. Um, yeah, so I'm in Canberra and that was the first sort of experiences I'd had with a rabbit. I bought my apartment, I was looking for a pet. And well, my family had had dogs, so I was kind of used to reading dogs' body languages. I kind of knew that. So a rabbit was a very different experience. But Lavender I bought from the RSPCA, and yeah, I remember seeing a photo of her, and I was like, I have no idea how to look after a rabbit, but we'll figure it out. And then she was the best little decision I ever made. Now I made the best little decision with buttons. <laughs> Who is still not going towards the poop tray? You're probably straight in there, Papa. It's clean. Let me stir the hay a bit. Let me stir the hay. Pa oh, hang on. No, no, oh, she's tricking me. She's tricking me. Look, Papa. Oh. But yeah, um, one of the things I didn't realize when I got lavender was gross fact or oh, fun fact. Uh, <laughs> they eat their own poop. Yes. Um, I didn't realise this, so when I bought Lavender home, um, she started to do that and I called up my mum because my mum had owned rabbits when she was a teenager and I was like, mum, mum, she's eating her poop, what do I do? I can't seem to stop her from doing it and I honestly thought, you know, because I've heard that if animals get really, really, really stressed, they'll do that um, and I thought that was honestly what's going on, I didn't realise that. Them um, eating their poops just a natural thing that they do. So yeah, they got to do that. Um, don't have to keep all of their poop though. You can get rid of 
most of their poop. <laughs> Is there a little poop machine? Or at least my bobs is a little poop machine. You're the prettiest poop machine. Yeah, look at that face. You can forgive it for being a poop eater. But yeah, it's not like our poop. Um, I probably can't get too much details here, but if you don't own a rabbit, let's let's go into details. Uh, they're basically like little brown marbles. <laughs> like they're tiny. Um, they're hard. If 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 they're ever soft, it's usually, you know, it might be that your rabbit's just not feeling well. Um, so generally they're hard, easy to sweep up, so it's easy to clean, they don't tend to stink. Again, if your rabbit's poop stinks, then it means they've got a bit of an upset stomach. Um, yeah, so the upkeep and the clean is pretty, pretty easy for them. She is not going in there, what is going on? She knows I'm filming, she knows something's up. <laughs> She's always straight in there. Um, yeah, that's my story. That's my poop story. Hope you enjoyed my poop story. Buttons? Yeah? You hiding? You hiding? What are you doing? Oh, can I give you a nose poop? Nose poop! Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Oh, okay, no. Oh! <laughs> Okay, my girls are impressed. Story of my life.